Uh, I just let it dry itself, it's too warm to pull out a hard dryer. So we come in the front door, which is here, and then I'll turn the camera around. So then it brings you in to the little living area. So I put all my shoes here, because um, it's just so handy, keeping them there, um, just when you come in. Then we have this here little like coat rack, but I've also got my bags and uh, face masks, and also a Cure Queen. Thank you for this. We're gonna put a jacket on top of it. Then we have just our little table with all our cards and the Alexa and Polaroid and stuff and our calendar, big tripod, yoga mat. Then into the like living area with the sofa, which is actually quite comfy. I didn't think it would be, but it actually is. Um, two spare seats, or two spare, they're not spare, they're two seats and they're quite comfortable as well. Then we have our TV and then cabinet, which is where we keep our laptops and everything. Then you come out here and it brings you out to a little um, balcony. So we have a, a clothes horse here and then like a seating area here. So it actually is kind of big. Like, I don't know if you can see how big it is in this, but it, there's plenty of space. It's so warm out there. We have the air conditioning on here. So yeah, that's the balcony. Then, as we go over here, this is our kitchen table, which is really big for the two of us. Like, we don't need uh, the big space, but uh, but it's handy because we both work from home and online on laptops, so we have plenty of space to spread out and stuff. So, in through here is the kitchen. Oh, look at the little housewife! Oh my goodness, that's just for the camera. I've asked him to dry them about three hours ago. <laughs> no, I literally did. I had a shower, got ready. Yeah, you said wash them. No, I wa I washed them. No, I washed these. Oh yeah, because I washed them this morning. I washed the other ones. Yeah, I know. Anyway, sorry, we're not arguing. We are getting on great. We're great roomies, so we are, aren't we? Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. And <laughs> um, so yeah, in here is just the fridge, obviously sink area. It's so annoying because we do not have a drying board, but you need that. Um, microwave, all our cupboards. It came fully stocked as well. We whiskey jar and everything up there, but it came fully stocked, which is good. Um, our oven, and then out here is like a wee utility room. Ignore all the washing, washing machine, and then you can open this out um, to let more air in. And it's just out to the sweet terrace. So down here is a little hallway, and we have our first spare room, which we're just using for storage at the minute. And also, I removed some of the items that were in the kitchen because I just think they were tacky. They also had them flowers. Um, so these are two spare beds, and then plenty of wardrobe space, which is good. We just put our suitcases in here. We probably could put them away in the wardrobe, but we haven't done that yet. And then again, just a window looking out on the terrace. In this side, um, we have just a bathroom. This is where I put Ronan into because he stinks. So yeah, this is his little bathroom. Then we have another spare room. Um, so yeah, it's just a double bed this time. Again, lots of wardrobe space, a wee lamp and everything. And then out onto the terrace. It also came with an extension lead, which is handy. And then into our room. First of all, we have a wee en suite. Um, I can't remember, are they a B-Day or something you call them? I can't remember, we don't use it anyway, obviously. Toilet, sink, 
and it's actually really good because it comes with extra lighting so when you're doing your makeup it makes it so much handier and then obviously shower and then in here is our room and then we have lots of wardrobe space which is Brill so Ronan's is in there and then mine's is in here so yeah so that is just um the little apartment here it's just small and this room now we only um have the lease until November and then we can decide whether we want to extend it or not and um, to be honest the I love the apartment but the um estate agent that we're working with is just not helpful at all um aren't they not they just don't reply to emails or anything yeah I know true is any of them gonna be and there's like a few different things like that's wrong with the apartment but you're gonna get that everywhere I suppose so yeah we will see how we get on like obviously we're only here for we're only here a week so we're just still getting used to it it is um it's like a 30 minute walk from Puerto Bernays so it is kind of a bit I would like to be closer to, especially to the beach but it's dead on like it does the job and nice yeah it is such a nice walk like um, and I like walking and we get all our steps so pretty good so I asked on my Instagram for questions and I actually got like quite a few which I didn't think I would um just ask like I just was like what like what do you want to know like do you want to travel or like why I move more bed and all so so someone said, um, someone asked, uh, what is up Marbella like compared to Ireland, like pros and cons? So I'll say the biggest pro is the weather. And to be around and keep saying this, like why do people not come to like Spain at this time of the year? Because the weather is so nice, like it's so warm. Um, the weather is a massive thing. Um, both me and Ronan like pure thrive with good weather. Another pro is that people are way more chilled here than at home. Like everyone's always in a rush like to get stuff done to go to work etc like we were walking to the gym at half nine this morning and there was no one up there was no shops open no cafes open nothing um and like it's just because they're they don't just don't there's just a more of a work-life balance like a lot of the places even close like for a siesta like from like say like half three to seven or like earlier even <laughs> um so there's really like they're much more chilled um, obviously Ireland has our family in it and I'd say that's the only con about here but everything else has been absolutely great obviously I've only been here a week so maybe ask me that in six months and I'll see how I am um, another question is I thought it was Bali you were moving to yeah well I already explained this like originally obviously we were supposed to go to Bali um, but then Bali's borders have been opening and shutting like a lot and it was just too risky especially at the time we were booking flights and um, Bali's borders were closed and we were just like we need out of this country can't be waiting around like life's too short to be waiting for the perfect moment so we were like forget we'll just book Marbella like it was there was no real reason and that actually brings me on to another question why Marbella like there was no real reason I just know um, Marbella is known for good gyms and like there's a lot of people in the fitness industry here so it's good for networking and connections and for being around like-minded people like it's so motivating here whereas at home it's just not motivating at all like i feel, feel uh, felt like it was hard to get up and go whereas in marbella it's like it's way more motivating um i feel like there's more hours in the day because brighter for longer and stuff like that so yeah that's all i'm kind of into one Someone said, did you quit your job? What's your plans now? And someone else said, have you a job in place? So did I quit my job? Yes and no. So I'm on a career break for a year. Um, so that obviously gives me a year to decide whether I want to go back to that job or whether I want to move on to something different. Um, and I feel like I need this year to just find myself. So I don't know if everyone knows, but I went directly into my job straight after I left school in seventh year and I did my degree through them. So I worked for them for five years, um, including completing my degree and it's a full-time job and it's in an office environment and I just felt like I couldn't find myself and find my purpose. Um, obviously you don't need to go and quit your job to find your purpose, but I just knew that there's more in me and I want to make like... 
I want to make a difference and I felt like I wasn't doing that um, in my job that I was in. Obviously things can change and you know, you never know, I might miss it and go back in a year. You don't know. I don't know. Someone said, have you always wanted to travel? So yes, always wanted to travel from I was no age and um, always had that itch because we never really went on holidays when we were younger, only down south um, as my mom was claustrophobic so she couldn't get on a flight. So my first holiday was actually only like two years ago. So yeah, I've always wanted to travel, always wanted to go to like America and Australia and stuff like that. And um, hopefully, well, America is in the cards for next year. Um, for a few weeks around Christmas and um, Australia is definitely on the list and um, obviously again because of borders we couldn't wait around so we needed to we wanted to go somewhere so that's why we end up here. Uh, the gyms out there are looking unreal what one are you using so currently we're using M13 and we made the massive mistake so I don't know if you have seen my stories or not on Instagram follow my Instagrams um, but we went to the IO club first and it was insane like absolutely amazing it's a brand new gym the facilities are unreal but the price is crazy it's 130 pound a month and that's on a deal at the minute it's usually 170 pound a month um but they give us a free week and it was amazing and now we're in m13 i feel like everything else is disappointing from that obviously m13 is an amazing gym as well but it's just not the same it's not all the newness you know um another question was is it warm in the winter time yeah it actually well at the minute it's so like it's october and we're on 25 degrees so that's warm for ron and i obviously we haven't been on holidays in a few years um, and obviously i've never really experienced the heat before so i feel like it's a good way to get me into the heat without like going straight from not to 100 you know what i mean um how are you like how are you liking living out on your own obviously with Ronan and um, I love it um, it's it's so good just being in your own routine and not having to worry about other people's needs I was constantly worrying about other people's needs and like not put myself first and I feel like that's a big thing that me and Ronan have learned to fill up our own cup first and it's been amazing being able to do that are you coming home at Christmas good question so um, yeah we are coming home at Christmas um, obviously to see Ralph and my family um, I have my nieces and nephew and I really want to go home and see them as well so we will be going home for Christmas we're hoping to make a stop first somewhere before we go straight home so I'm not saying where because we haven't booked it yet but um, so yeah we are going home for Christmas don't know when like what date but I'll probably go home around the same time my sister's going home she's in England in university so we'll probably go home at the same time um is it less motivating or more motivating to work out in the sun more definitely you have more energy and the people around here just make you want to work out like the energy in the gym everyone's focused like everyone is in there for themselves everyone is like doing really hard workouts and you feel like you want to as well like some days me and Ron are like we don't even want to go home we want to work out more but obviously like we're like where we need to go home we can't be wasting all our energy but you definitely you have much more energy do you miss Ralph yeah I literally like pictures of him every day my wallpaper on my phone is Ralph and I just get sad and I keep checking in and I keep asking my family like how is he um but yeah um, is Marbella everything you thought it would be? I just want to finish this question because I don't want to make this too long. Yeah, it's everything and more. It's so random. Me and Ronan never planned. We've never been here before. I've only been to Spain once and that was to Salou. Obviously, it's very different than Salou. Um, we were just looking at flights and we were like, what about Marbella? And Ronan was like, I was thinking Marbella too. And then next minute booked flights two weeks later we're here so yeah it's everything and more it's an amazing place the heat the people the vibe everything and i could not recommend it more i can't wait until our family come out and get experience it too because i feel like they'll love it as just as much as we do but i do want to travel to other places so marbella obviously is not a set home it, we're here until christmas we might go somewhere else in january we might come back here we don't know yet we're just going with the flu not putting pressure on it and we'll see what's happening 
so thank you so much for watching another video i have another vlog coming um of my first weekend in marbella so look out for that i have loads of fun video content coming i feel like it's so motivating to video stuff around here and i don't give a shit who's around because you don't know anyone and they don't know what you're saying so it really does not matter but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did i would be very grateful if you could like and subscribe we're nearly at 400 and i'll see you in the next one bye